Welcome to the Craps Lab. Let's talk about probability, true odds, payouts, and the house advantage. Odds. What are they? Odds identify what you can expect to win based on what it will take to win that amount. An example is an event that pays 7 to 5, also expressed as a ratio 7 to 5, means you can expect to win $7 for every $5 you bet on that event. True odds. What are they? True odds are different than odds because they tell you exactly how many chances you have of losing an event versus how many chances you have of winning an event. If an event has more chances to lose than win, you get paid more. Likewise, if you have more chances to win than lose, you get paid less. True odds. Why is it important? Knowing how many ways you win versus how many ways you lose helps you determine if the risk versus reward on a specific type of bet is worth the risk. True odds. Ways to lose over ways to win or ways to lose to ways to win. So how do we find the true odds of hitting any six? We need to determine how many combinations lose and how many combinations win for the six. So how do we lose? Think about the only way to lose on six. Do we lose if we throw a five? Do we lose if we throw a two, three, or 12? The answer is no. The only way we lose is when the shooter throws a seven. How many possible combinations make a seven? There are six combinations that make a seven. Six one, one six, five two, two five, four three, three four. How many possible combinations make a six? There are five combinations that make a six. Five one, one five, four two, two four, and three three. The true odds on a six are six to five, or six to five is a ratio. Six ways to lose, five ways to win. The true odds on an eight are six to five also. Six ways to lose, Five ways to win. Probability, odds, and true odds commonality. Are you ready for fractions? Time to dust off those elementary math skills. The commonality between probability, odds, and true odds is they reduce to the common denominator. What are the true odds on the five or nine? The true odds on the five or nine are six ways to lose, four ways to win, reduced to three to two or three to two as a ratio. What are the true odds on the 4 or 10? Six ways to lose. 
Three ways to win. Reduce to 2 to 1 or 2 to 1 as a ratio. What are the true odds on the 3 or 11? This is only available on crapless tables. Six ways to lose. Two ways to win. Reduce to 3 to 1 or 3 to 1 as a ratio. What are the true odds on the 2 or 12? Again, these are only available on the crapless tables. There are six ways to lose. There's one way to win. This is already reduced to as low as it can get at 6 to 1 or 6 to 1 as a ratio. Why am I saying the true odds are only available for the 2, 3, 11, and 12 on a crapless table? A crapless table does not lose on the come out horn numbers 2, 3, 11, or 12. Instead, they become the point, and to win, you have to roll the same number again before the 7. A crapless table does not have a don't pass bar, a don't come, or lay bets. Because they are the point, you could take true odds on them from the pass line. You can also buy them or travel to them via the come. What if we bet against the shooter? If you against the shooter, the only way to lose is if the shooter hits the number you are against before throwing a 7. To know the true odds, we need to flip our targets in the ratio. The combinations for 7 go on the bottom, and the number we lose against goes on the top. The true odds against a 6 are 5 to 6, or 5 to 6 is a ratio. You have 5 ways to lose, 6 ways to win. The true odds against the other numbers. Here is a list of true odds against the box numbers. Notice the numbers 2, 3, 11, and 12 are not included. You cannot bet against those numbers. 6 or 8 is 5 to 6. 5 or 9 is 2 to 3. 4 or 10 is 1 to 2. The true odds of hitting a hard 6. 10 ways to lose. One way to win. The easy six combinations, 5, 1, 1, 5, 4, 2, 2, 4, and then the seven, 6, 1, 1, 6, 3, 4, 5, 2, 2, 5, and 4, 3. Against the only way to win with a pair of threes. True odds for the hard ways. Here is a list of true odds for the hard ways. Six or eight, 10 to one. Four or 10, eight to one. How do you get them? There are six ways to receive true odds on the craps table. Three ways are betting with the shooter. Three ways are betting against the shooter. Betting with the shooter, you have the pass line odds, come bet odds, and the buy bet. Against the shooter, you have the don't pass odds, don't come bet odds, and the lay bet. Pass line odds, often referred to as backing up your pass line bet with odds, it pays the true odds of the point established, only available after a point is established and you have a pass line bet. The most money you can add in odds depends on the casino max odds limit. All casinos are different. Some allow two times odds on any point, meaning the most you could bet in odds is twice your pass line bet. Some go as high as 100 times. Odds can be added or removed at any time, but don't touch them if the point is made until you have been paid. Come bet odds. Come bet odds are established in two steps. First, place a come bet, red arrow number one. Second, 
The shooter rolls the dice and does not pay the come bet immediately, so the bet moves to the number rolled. Red arrow number two. After the come bet is established, the player can bet true odds on their come bet, following the exact same rules around pass line odds. The player can press or remove their come bet odds at any time. There is another, lesser known method of establishing a come bet, and that is called the put, where a player puts up a come bet with odds, usually max, any time after the point is established. Odds do not work on the come out roll unless directed by the player. If the shooter throws a 7 on the come out roll, the dealer will save their odds and return them to the player. Buy bets. Betting a number is rolled before the 7. Most local casinos require 5% VIG of the bet amount at the time of placing the buy bet. A lot of the Las Vegas casinos are auto-buy the 4 and 10 bets, some as low as $10, and you only pay when the shooter hits your buy bet. Example, buying the 4 for $20 up to $25 will cost you 5% of the bet, or $1. Every time the shooter hits a 4, while the player has it bought, earns them 2 to 1 true odds and costs them another 5%. The buy can be made at any time, but is typically placed after the point is established. The 4 and 10 are typically bought at lower dollar bets. The cost of the VIG is more than the additional win amount on the 6 and 8, and only when you get to above $350 on the 5 and 9, as you have to pay it at the time of buying the number. Don't pass odds. Only available if a don't pass bar bet was established on the come out roll. Players can add don't pass odds up to, but not exceeding, the table max odds on the amount of the win. Example, a four times max odds on a point of five with a $10 don't pass bet on the come out. The maximum win is four times $10 or $40. The player would have to lay $60 at true odds of two to three, winning two for every $3 bet, to win the max. The player can add or remove odds at any point after the come out, but not exceed the max odds. Don't come odds. After a point is established, a player can bet a don't come bet, the red arrow number one. If the shooter rolls a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10, also known as a box number, the don't come better can travel their bet to that number and elect to place the true odds, not to exceed the table max odds limit on the winning amount. An example, player places $10 bet on the don't come, shooter rolls a nine, Dealer travels the player's DC bet to the 9, and the player places $60 on a 4 times max odds table to win $40 at true odds of 2 to 3. Lay bets. Betting against the number. Always work regardless if the puck is on or off. To turn those bets off, the player must take them down. Cost 5% VIG of the win amount. Example, $40 lay on a 4 at 1 to 2 pays $20, and 5% of the 20 is $1, so it would cost $41 to lay the 4. They can be made at any time, it doesn't matter, lay on the come out, or after the point is established. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like the content I am providing, and helps my channel get found by other craps players.